no one escapes death. It was an old story about a wealthy merchant in Baghdad who sent his servant to the fruit market to buy fruits for the evening. Soon the servant returned panting and huffing. What happened to you? Why did you look so pale? Why do you look so pale? asked the merchant. The young servant shivered. Master, in the market I came face to face with death. He was tall, wearing a long flowing robe that covered him completely. But I saw his eyes fixed on me. I have served you for so long with my utmost dedication, master. Now, I beg you to lend me your best horse so that I can ride away fast and quick to Samara to avoid death. The merchant lent his servant his best horse and the servant mounted it and galloped out of Baghdad. Still unsure of his servant's apprehensions, the merchant went down to the fruit market to find out for himself. He roamed around for a while and finally could spot a slender, tall figure draped in a black robe. He came near and asked, So, here you are, Death. Why did you frighten my servant a while back? Death remarked, That was not a threatening look at your servant, but that of utter surprise. I was astonished to see him in Baghdad, for I have an appointment with him tonight in Samara. When asked what about death he fears most, Shomitra Babu regularly tells now that he doesn't wish to live at a time when his family is going through its most excruciatingly critical and crucial time. I hear him pause, look aside, clear his throat and say, and the most that I, I have to be dependent on others for my each and every need and wish. That will really be quite pathetic. One of the finest actors that the silver screen has ever seen feigns a smile and he looks vain. After all, death is nothing but a nostalgia of the young and nostalgia is the death of the old.